Hey, how's it going everyone? I uh, just wanted to do a quick review of my Alden Indie boots. So the Alden Indie, if you don't know, has uh, been around for quite some time. The Alden Shoe Company was founded in the late 1800s in Middleborough, Massachusetts. And uh, this boot was really, I would say, made most famous by uh, the Indiana Jones movie. So people were searching and wanting to know what boot he was wearing, and in uh, a couple, you know, a few few scenes, uh, he was actually a carpenter prior to um, becoming part of that franchise, and those are actually some aged boots that he wore during that time that that you really can't get anymore. Um, but you can get something similar um, with you know historic leathers, and um, I I believe great craftsmanship. So with these particular boots right here, this is the natural chrome XL version. Um, they are oftentimes identified by numbers. So there's the 401, which is the black version. The 403 is uh, the brown Chrome XL version, which is you know more or less the the most famous or go-to one. Uh, that's that's fairly similar to the Indiana Jones one, I would say. There's also the 405. Uh, that is the calf leather or calf skin leather. Um, it's a little bit tougher than say this version, which is the Chrome XL, and I'll go into the that type of leather in a bit. But uh, yeah, this style of boot is a is a work boot. Uh, I think it can also be dressed up, you know, dressed down, um, and it's extremely comfortable. I just didn't have a ton of success, even after like a year of trying to break them in. Um, they weren't even close to as comfortable outside of the box, or right out of the box as these uh, Alden Indies. So, I had a little bit of pressure on the top here from my left foot and that went away with uh, literally two walks of my dog that were about a mile each. Uh, no blistering, again, no discomfort and very, very happy so far with the boots. Uh, over, over time, you're supposed to use what's called Venetian shoe cream on these to kind of uh, get out the scratches and, and keep the leather in good condition. Um, it'll also apparently darken the leather quite a bit. So um, I could put a link for that shoe cream, it's on Amazon. Um, it's pretty expensive, but you're supposed to use a very small amount at a time. So, um, and I would also imagine at the same time that if you're investing, you know, the 500 plus dollars in, in um, a pair of boots like this, that you can afford to, to take care of them, to keep them for a long period of time. I purchased these at the shoemart.com. Uh, I believe they're based in, in New England as well. And uh, this particular model is $571. Um, got free shipping. It was here in a couple of days. I'm uh, based out of Maryland, uh, not uh, Los Angeles. But uh, yeah, this is again the uh, this is a version of the 405 Alvin Indy boot in natural chrome XL. I'm a huge fan thus far. I will do a, a bit of on feet video uh, as well as another review down the road, just uh, letting you know what I think. But Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. So guys, yeah, I just wanted to follow up here and uh, start off with some close-ups of this boot. So again, this is the Alden Indie boot in natural Chrome XL. Um, as you will see here, there is, uh, you know, slight wear on, on them in terms of the sole and, and what they look like at this point. Um, had them about a month or so. Um, worn them quite frequently. Um, I think, you know, initially out of the box, they look great. I, you know, still tend to think that they look uh, pretty awesome. I actually really like the, the laces that they come with. So some of the boots come with, you know, wax laces that honestly uh, I've heard hold up a bit longer than uh, say this flat cotton lace that you have here. Uh, however, I just like how these lay and I like how, you know, the, their softness kind of allows them to tie pretty well um, up through the, the rivets. Uh, and as you can see, there's, um, you know, five lace holes and, uh, and, and these, again, these placeholders right here uh, on the boot. Uh, I've got Woodlore Cedar Shoe Trees in right now that I bought off Amazon. Uh, when you order a pair of Alden Indies, uh, pretty much any shop, so like Union Made or Left Off or Need Supply out of Richmond, Virginia, um, you're going to have the option to buy some shoe trees. Uh, I just found these a little bit less expensive, but uh, of pretty good quality on Amazon. Again, Woodlore, um, you can just match up your size to what size 
boot you wear. Um, so here is again the boot. Um, you can see kind of like the softness here. Um, I mean, it's 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 pretty it's pretty supple leather. Um, got a shoe tree in, so this looks pretty rigid right now. But um, and I I can also do them against kind of a a black backdrop here, just so that you can you can see um, their color and, and what they look like. Uh, I think over time, honestly, these are going to turn out to be the sort of brown that I was looking for, a medium brown. I know that when people buy the the 403 brown Chrome XL version, uh, they start out pretty pretty uh, pretty medium brown, and then it, they seem after after uh, some wear and tear and then some sh you know leather and conditioning to just get so dark, almost you know black, uh, you know basically like this color or even darker uh, over time, and and, and you know that that does make them uh wearable with a lot of outfits and a lot of color combinations but uh you know it, for me i i you know might pick those up at some point but i just wanted something a little bit lighter and also uh i think the natural chrome excel version is just it is is less seen uh out there in the landscape so i'm going to do some try on videos and let you guys see and 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 leave your thoughts below let me know what you think So as you can see, uh, going through the process of uh, lacing them up, um, if you were gonna say, you know, try to use these in any sort of a rush and and kind of kind of get out the door, get your shoes tied, uh, you know, I don't know that these would be the uh, these would be the shoes for you. Um, people oftentimes make the joke that if uh, if their house was burning down, this, that this would be, you know, these boots uh, would be one of the one of the items that they would grab before uh, before running out of the fire I mean that's how that's how passionate people are about the about the boots and and, and, and how comfortable they think they are and um, you know if their house burned down and, and they lost their boots they also wouldn't really hesitate to buy these again and you know my feeling in the initial going is, is pretty similar to that um, as you can see here so these are you know what the boots look like uh, laced up and and as you can see I really like how you know the laces fall they're flat cotton laces it looks like you can order uh, you know pretty similar length and pair on Amazon I think they're 54 centimeters so yeah th these are what the boots look like um, this is what they look like from the side uh, and from you know the interior view uh, there is a slight uh, kind of notice over the first month or so of, of uh, a little bit of you know creasing in here and like I said I've got shoe trees and some Venetian shoe cream that I think will will take care of that uh, but yeah as you can see just these are very comfortable I think if you've got the the right opening uh, that you're happy with in your pants uh, as well as the right length they just they really look like a like, a, like an awesome shoe that you can you know, dress up again or dress down and, and uh, you know, really excited about the future uh, with these shoes. I think I'm actually going to pick up uh, the J. Crew Kudu leather version, uh, which is a bit darker, um, and then potentially uh, some limited edition uh, ones that they have with other companies. So uh, you'll find those out there as well, just with a quick Google search. Uh, so let me know what you think. Uh, if you want to see any other version of the try-on video or, uh, you know, have any questions about the boot, please leave them below, and thanks for watching. So, one, one kind of last thing here uh, with the boots. So, let's talk about sizing. Um, this is a, the ones that I'm wearing right now uh, are a size 7.5D. So, medium width, 7.5, um, my Red Wing Iron Rangers, as well as my Wolverine Thousand Mile boots that I used to have before I sold them. Um, they were both 7.5D as well and fit pretty well. <clears throat> the Alden Indie boot seems to run a little bit more spacious, a tiny bit, uh, I think to my benefit, uh, and probably to folks with, with slightly wider feet. Now, growing up, played a ton of soccer, 
uh, wore basically the most narrow soccer shoe made at the time, uh, made by Nike. And so I, I consider myself to have a pretty medium to, to even narrow width foot. So what I was saying was there's a little bit of width here in the, the toe box where kind of like the mock stitch mock stitching is. Um, and I think that just adds to comfort. It kind of, you know, it's not super wide through the middle here, um, but you know, it, it is more comfortable, I believe, than, than Iron Rangers, uh, you know, out of the, out of the box. So, um, my normal size, what I what I say, what I wear in my A6, what I wear in the majority of my Nike running shoes uh, are a size 9 US men in, again, D or medium width. Pretty much uh, without a doubt. I do wear some J. Crew dress shoes in a size 8.5. Uh, my Sperry's, uh, my, my mocks, uh, my Chucka Boots and Sperry's, they're all an 8.5 D. So, in my opinion, these shoes run a size, a full size to a, a size and a half smaller. Some people will say they run true to size, others will say they run a half size smaller. Uh, for me personally, what I've noticed with these boots uh, for my foot in comparison to, for example, my running shoes, it is, is that they literally run a size and a half smaller. So the Alden Indie boot runs a size and a half smaller uh, than, than uh, my running shoes or um, you know, any, any sort of casual sneakers that I'm wearing. So, uh, and, I, and I generally speaking, I like my shoes pretty snug, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm also not opposed to having a little bit of room for when my feet get warm and they tend to swell up a little bit. So, you know, th therefore, uh, just be aware of that. Um, if you can afford to do it, I always say, and I always recommend the smartest thing to do is to order two sizes so that you just, you're patient, you have the ability to try them both on, like absolutely, it's a, it's a double the investment in terms of buying those shoes, but you're sending one back, and as long as you have a process to do that um, with your local post office, it you know the maximum amount of money that you lose in that transaction is like six to 10 bucks. And again, for this price of a shoe, you just wanna make sure that the fit is right and that they're comfortable, um, because you I don't think you will regret it. So just a note on sizing, uh, again, 7.5D, is what my Alden Indie boots are, and I usually wear a size nine, and uh, my running shoes, my Asics, my Nikes, uh, my Sperry's are an 8.5. My uh, my Chuck Taylors, actually, they are a size eight. So there's another note. They are like a full size smaller than my, um, than my Nike running shoes. So uh, just, you know, again, another note, if you have any questions, just, you know, zip them over uh, below, and I will answer them. Thanks, bye.